Hey, this is Jason Bellamy. I'm going to go over interpreting your mole test result. So typically we take three air samples for a small to medium sized home. We'll take one outside and that is our control sample because there is no fixed reference telling us what is healthy or unhealthy as far as the amount of spores or the air quality in our home. It's variable, meaning we need a control sample. We want to see that the the amount of spores that we find in the home are consistent with the environment outside or better. Um, so we have issues only when we're finding uh, spores that are way out of range with the outside because we have spores everywhere. We're not trying to find an environment that doesn't have any spores. It's not possible. We're dragging in things from the outside all the time. We have pets, um, you know, we have open windows, etc. So that's why we have an outdoor sample. And then uh, in this case, we have a main level air sample that we took and one in the basement. Typically, air quality issues manifest themselves in a home from the lowest level going up, meaning the basement or the crawl space will be the wettest area because, because it's typically, you know, it's below grade. And um, then as we go up, to the main level or the upper level, the air quality will improve because it becomes drier. So we are most interested in this basement. This, this is our control sample. Main level, in a way, it's just another control. Um, in some cases, you know, if there are a lot of uh, roof leaks or plumbing leaks, we might be interested in the air quality in the upper levels. But typically, what we're really looking at is the air quality in the basement. So in this case, we have three rows of spores and uh, predominantly outdoor. These aren't as interesting when we're looking at air quality issues. We're more interested in these yellow, this yellow row here and this red row. This yellow row is can be indoor or outdoor spores um, and aspergillus penicillium. These are very common and a very good indicator of air quality issues in a home. So these typically grow on moist surfaces. These ones here tend to grow on wet or saturated surfaces. Aspergillus penicillium is probably the most common. We see that in just about every report. Um, Stachybotrys here is more commonly known as black mold. They found one count of that here in the basement. So going back to the outdoor, we found nine spores uh, in that outdoor sample. They analyzed 100% of that sample, so nine spores total. We go over to the main level, they found 52 spores. They analyzed 100% of that uh, sample. Here, you see how it's 100%. Uh, so 52 spores total of Aspergillus penicillium at the main level. Here, we see 154, um, but they only analyzed 7% of that sample. So really there are over 2000 spores. If you extrapolate that information in that sample in the basement, the reason they didn't count them all is just because there were so many of them. They just counted a percentage of it and they just extrapolated the rest of the information. Um, so, you know, they just counted a fraction of that, uh, sample. So this does indicate an air quality issue in the basement in this home because it's significantly out of range from the outside. Mo the main level is higher than the outside, slightly elevated. This is very elevated. And then uh, we did see a couple spores for the uh, water indicators. So scrolling down, this is just more visual information based on what we already saw here. By the way, different labs will present this information differently. This is the lab that we use, Eurofins. So this is the main level versus the outside. And this is a uh, has to do with the calculated spores per cubic meter. So not the total spore count. Um, so this is sort of guesstimating what the air in general is like in that space. It does seem to be elevated from the outside. This darker blue is the main level. This is Aspergillus penicillium. You can go down and look at the other spores. This is one of the ones I'm most interested in. We'll go ahead and get right down to the basement. And you see this is out of 50,000. This is uh, cubic meters of air. This is only out of 2,000. So this, keep in mind that this will vary depending on how many they found. 
So, and it's not to scale. So that can be misleading. The upper one was out of 2000. This is out of 50,000 plus. So there is a 29,000 uh, calculated spores per cubic meter. That's very elevated. And that's Aspergillus penicillium in the basement. Basidio spores uh, are within range or below range. So we're not concerned about this. We're not concerned about some of these other things. In this case, the Aspergillus penicillium, very typical, is the best indicator of air quality issues in this basement. So, and then there's in this um, test, uh, the report here, there's some background information, definition of terms, uh, indoor and outdoor comparisons. This one's kind of interesting. It will tell you which spores have allergenic or mycotoxin potential. Um, Aspergillus penicillium has both and black mold has both as well. So that is going over a typical mold test result that is elevated.